Hey guys, do you have a fire extinguisher in your workshop? And if you do, is it charged? Does it need to be recharged? And if it is charged, is it large enough to actually put out a fire in your shop, the size of your shop? Woodworking shops are inherently prone to fires and it's for obvious reasons. They contain large amounts of fuel in the form of wood sawdust, flammable materials such as paints, oil finishes, varnishes, glues, solvents. Many shops also are full of fine dust all over the place that's going to ignite and burn way faster and easier than solid lumber. Add to that that we put in our shops potential ignition sources such as cutting and welding operations, sparking tools, or the potential for static electrical discharges, dust collector pipes and all that stuff. Because of this, a higher rated fire extinguisher is recommended. I want to talk about that. All residential fire extinguishers are classified A, B, C, or D, a combination of those. And there's a label that indicates which fires they will be most effective on. All, all of the fire extinguishers use a dry chemical, a multi-purpose extinguishing agent. The main distinction on residential extinguishers is their size. And the bigger, the better. Now, Class A extinguishers are designed to put out ordinary combustibles, things like, think wood, cardboard, and paper. Class B is designed for flammable liquids, solids, solvents, grease, oil, gas. And Class C is designed to extinguish suitable, it's suitable to use for things like electrically charged or energized fires. There's a Class D and that's designed for flammable metals. And if some of you guys are working with metals, you should consider that. And the fine print on a fire extinguisher is a label. On those, in those labels are preceded uh, letters but preceded by numbers. And that's the UL classification rating. Now, Underwriters Laboratories tests all fire extinguishers for the size of fire that they'll put out and their effectiveness. The UL rating is broken down into class A and then class BC. The numerical rankings after it allow you to basically compare the relative extinguishing effectiveness of these different fire extinguishers. For example, an extinguisher that is rated 4A 20BC indicates the following. The 4A or the A rating is the equivalency of one and a quarter gallons of water. So 4A is five gallons of water. The BC rating is equivalent to the square footage. It's really the B rating. It's, so if you have a 20B, that's 20 square feet of coverage. And then the C, the BC, indicates that it's suitable for electrically charged or energized equipment. So that's the BC. Remember, the big takeaway, the thing I want you to get here is the bigger those numbers, the the greater the fire extinguisher effectiveness in your shop. My shop fire extinguisher is an ABC rated, 4A ranked, um, and it can be recharged. It's important that you purchase a quality fire extinguisher that you can charge and check the gauge periodically. Now there's a difference between rechargeable extinguishers with metal valves and disposable ones with plastic valves. A rechargeable uh, fire extinguisher is gonna cost you more, no doubt but refilling it once, once that pressure gauge shows that use or time has depleted the contents, is still less effective than buying a new disposable one. It's better quality too. And this is a perfect example of you get what you pay for. Here's a tip that I do here in my shop. I mount my fire extinguishers near the doors, preferably near light switches so that I can always easily just glance at the gauge to see what that charge is doing. Look, be safe all and go get yourself a, a quality extinguisher for your shop if you don't have one. If you need a quality extinguisher, click on the purchase link in the description below. And if you already have a fire extinguisher in your workshop, go check that gauge. I'm Rob Robillard. We'll see you next time. Take care.